If you already use Zoom to host virtual events, you're going to love taking them to the next level with Splash. Just grab the meeting or webinar ID, paste it into your virtual event page touchpoint, along with your optional passcode, and watch your live event transform. Zoom meetings and Zoom webinars can now be embedded into Splash, allowing you to focus on three main things. Number one, create a frictionless guest experience. Guests won't need to download Zoom or create a login, helping them get into the virtual door faster. Number two, keep your brand integrity. Customize the Splash page, housing your Zoom with your brand's colors, fonts, and logo. And number three, capture valuable guest data. We track what time your guests check in and out of Zoom and pass that information to your guest list and any integrations you have set up with Splash. Here are some things to know before we begin. At the time of this recording, Zoom meetings and Zoom webinars can only be embedded on Splash's virtual event page touchpoint, not on an actual event page. Number two, Zoom has audio and video restrictions based on what device or browser a guest is viewing the embed on. Number three, if the attendee is viewing via Safari or Firefox on desktop, guests must join audio for embedded meetings and webinars using the phone call or dial-in option. Guests cannot join audio using their computer audio. Number four, if the attendee is viewing via Safari, Chrome, Firefox, and Edge on iOS mobile devices, they must also join audio for embedded meetings and webinars using the phone call or dial-in option. Guests cannot join audio using their computer audio. Number five, if for whatever reason, a viewer wants to view the stream in Zoom, there is a view in Zoom button that will display during the live stream state. The type of virtual event you're hosting will influence what type of Zoom you use. For a smaller event with encouraged audience participation, we recommend a Zoom meeting, while a larger scale event with Q&A is best suited for a Zoom webinar. Keep in mind that you can only embed one Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar at a time inside the virtual event page touchpoint. Here are the steps you need to take to embed a Zoom meeting. Schedule a meeting in Zoom. You can also create an instant or recurring Zoom meeting. Copy and paste your Zoom webinar ID into the Zoom embed input fields in the touchpoint. The password is an extra level of security to consider including. Here are the steps you need to take to embed a Zoom webinar. Quick note here before we begin. Zoom webinars require a specific Zoom license and role type, so consult Zoom for more information if needed. Number one, create a webinar in Zoom or set up the Splash Zoom webinar integration to auto-create webinars. Number two, make sure registration is set to not required. Number three, copy and paste your Zoom webinar ID into the Zoom embed input fields in the touchpoint. Just like Zoom meetings, the password is an extra level of security to consider including. Once you save your Zoom information, you'll notice a new set of design options in the side panel. Keep your event on brand by customizing the headline and button using your event's colors and fonts. Now that we have things set up from a host perspective, let's examine what this experience feels like as a guest. Once checked in, the guests will click Join Meeting when they're ready to participate. If you've already started the meeting or webinar on Zoom side or enabled Join Before Host, the guests will then be prompted to choose their audio and video settings. If using computer audio and video, the guest browser will prompt them to grant mic and video access to Splash. The guests can decide to leave by clicking Leave Meeting or exiting out of the Splash window. Here are a few last notes regarding Zoom best practices. Number one, start your Zoom early. By default, Splash will allow guests to check in 30 minutes before your event start time. At that point, guests will be able to join the Zoom meeting. We recommend starting the meetings or webinar early or enabling the Join Before Host option to keep them from hitting Zoom's dreaded, this meeting hasn't started yet message. Pro tip, add a slide that says, this event will begin soon if you're still setting up. And number two, mute participants upon entry. Zoom meetings allow you to mute participants upon entry to prevent any noise while the meeting begins.